Alright you guys, so welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are excited for today's video because I did want to do a haul for you guys because this past week I've been in a funk, y'all. I don't know what's wrong, but I just I, I just haven't been in the best mood. I've been really sad and all of that. So actually on Saturday, I went ahead and did a treat myself type of day where I just went out and just treated myself like I got my toes done I bought some stuff and I just want to go ahead and share with you guys what I picked up so if you're excited make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and let's jump right into the video so let's jump into the video you guys um I did get a bunch of stuff from Ulta Morphe Sephora and then also TJ Maxx and Walmart as well so I'm really excited to share with you guys what I picked up and I will first start off with Ulta I got two items that I've been eyeing lately actually so let me go ahead and show you guys the first one which is so popular at the moment to find this foundation you guys is literally impossible so I got the KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation and I got the shade tan 78 okay this foundation right now currently right now i am reviewing the foundation for you guys so this is what it looks like on the skin but with this foundation it is close to impossible to find it anywhere like it is completely sold out on sephora and at the stores as well and then for ulta like there's barely any shades left so i got the shade tan 78 and i will show you guys what the inside looks like as well but this is it and then obviously y'all can see i swatch it because i'm doing a video on it but i will say i'm not going to share my thoughts on it so far because i do want you guys to watch the video but i love the consistency so far and i love the packaging and the whole concept so this is something i had to pick up for you guys and then also i got the ordinary who y'all know i suck at saying words all right niacin niacinamide okay niacinamide 10 percent plus zinc one percent high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula so i actually picked this up because i went to sephora a couple weeks ago and i was telling them like my issue right now is dark spots and breaking out and somebody recommended this for me so i went ahead and picked it up and basically it's supposed to help get rid of dark spots um acne and all of that and all the reviews on ulta was really nice as well so i'm excited to try this one out and tell you guys my thoughts on it but let's get it out and see what it looks like all right so it just has the dropper type of packaging so i'm gonna test this out and let you guys know because i've been breaking out on my forehead on my cheeks and to be honest i think it's because i haven't washed my brushes y'all like if i tell you the last time i washed my brushes y'all gonna be like chi chi like get your life together but that's probably the reason why so this is all i got from ulta so now moving on to sephora i only got two items because the sephora vip sale is coming up you guys so i really don't need to buy a lot of products because i do want to save some money but i got two items and these are both skincare items the first one is a glam glow super mud Claren treatment so the reason why i got this is because i told you guys i have been breaking out and when it comes to you know the pimples and all of that this is the best mask for me especially when it comes to spot treating my pimples and all of that um especially at night because i do spot treat at night so i do sleep with the mask on and i take it off in the morning and this is really good because it doesn't come off throughout the night or anything like that it just stays put and then by the morning time my pimple is a little bit smaller as well so i had to pick this one up now the next one is the bios oh trying to see how to say this biosense bios y'all i need help i can never say anything but the biosense squalene plus vitamin c dark spot serum and i got this because of the reviews on sephora a lot of people are saying that this really helps to brighten your skin and get rid of dark spots and all of that so i just want to go ahead and pick it up and test it out for you guys but this is what it looks like and it has a special ingredient in here as well it is called the white she take i believe and 100 percent vitamin c as well is in this so i'm gonna test this out for you guys let you know my thoughts and all of that but i kind of want to see what the consistency is like okay this is what it looks like it's a little bit runny but it is a serum and it kind of just blends into the skin and it feels really good you guys so far but once i try it out and let you guys know if it gets rid of my dark spots then we'll see but for now i'm excited to try this one out 
So the next makeup brand I do have is Morphe, okay? So I picked up a couple products because I've been needing a couple things from them. And the first two are brushes, all right? So I got their Morphe M707 3 fourths foundation brush, I believe. Yeah, this is their foundation brush because before I do go ahead and apply my foundation onto my skin, I dot it all over and I'm tired of using my fingers. So I went ahead and got an actual brush. All right, so that's the first one. And the next one I did pick up is the Morphe M504 brush. And this is their large pointed blender brush and i actually have one of this already and it's super nice because the more you use it you guys it gets super fluffy and it just blends really well onto the eyes so i really like this one and hopefully y'all can see it but you guys know when it comes to brushes they look super compact at first but the more you use it the bigger it gets so i really love this one and recommend this one as well so let's see. Of course, I had to pick up the Morphe Mini Continuous Set and Mist. I thought I got the big one. I didn't know I got the mini one. I meant to get the big one. But I've been, <laughs> you guys, it's so funny because I have ran out of this for a couple months now and I haven't picked it up because I've been super lazy. But I finally went ahead and got another one, you guys. And I just love this spray. It literally makes your skin look like skin. It gets rid of all the powders and all of that. So I just need this in my routine. So I went ahead and got this one. And in case you guys don't know, the mist is really nice and fine as well. So I love, love, love that. And the last item I got, <laughs> funny enough, is the Morphe Brush Cleansing Balm. All right, you guys, I told you, I haven't washed my brushes in a long time. Like, in a really long time because I haven't found a good brush cleanser that I like. So I went ahead and got this one, as y'all can see. And then it also comes with... What is this? Oh, it comes with a scrubber. Ooh, okay, so you go ahead and put your brush in here, get it all soapy, and then you brush it against this to get it really clean. Like, all right, Morphe, I like this. And it wasn't expensive, I believe it was like $10 or something like that, but this is really nice. I'm gonna use it tonight because I am tired of my skin breaking out. So now moving over to Walmart, y'all. I got a lot of stuff in here. All right, let's get into it. So let's see. Okay. So the first thing I did get is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towerlets. Um, I have been actually using the Juno Cleansing Balm because that's really good when it comes to your skin. People don't use makeup wipes anymore because it's like pulling and tugging on your skin. So I didn't get this for my actual face, you guys. I got this for my eyes because when it comes to balms, they irritate my eyes and I can't put it, you know directly in there so i use the makeup towelettes instead because it's a lot more gentle and sensitive for the eyes so i got this and i actually really do like the neutrogena wipes you know it's been a long time since i've used these but they're really really nice so let's see the next one i got is the nivea body lotion essentially enriched and this is the limited edition design but Y'all, this is so good because number one, it has almond oil in it and it's for dry to very dry skin. But when I put this on my skin, y'all, it literally looks like I put myself in like baby oil, if that makes sense. I am so glowy, so shiny, and it makes your skin look so good. This is perfect for the chest area, the legs, and all of that. And I just 100% recommend Nivea all the time. But I kind of want to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm going to put some on the back of my arm and just really blend it in and this formula is super rich you guys but i love it because when you go back and forth y'all can see the glow it leaves on the skin it is so beautiful so definitely go ahead and pick this one up so the next item i do have from walmart is a plum beauty personal hair trimmer and it's easy and painless i actually used this yesterday because i had some hair on my face and i was doing my whole skincare so i had to try this one out and i will say you guys i absolutely love this okay because i've been using the eyebrow razor blades i don't know what you call those but like the ones with the stick on my face for so many years now and with this it's just it does the work for you okay all i do is go ahead turn it on and put it on my face and it gets rid of all the unwanted hair on my cheek area around 
on my lips and all of that and it makes your skin feel really smooth so this one i do recommend and it wasn't expensive like i don't remember how much i paid for this but i remember it wasn't too expensive so if you're tired of using the shaving sticks go ahead and get this one and it'll do the job for you now the last items i got are all press-on nails if you guys don't know i only do press-ons just because it's so easy to work with i can switch out the color whenever i want and i don't have to sit there at the nail salon for like an hour and a half all right i just don't have that time anymore so i got a bunch of nail sets from kiss so let me show you guys a couple of my favorites this one is a trendy shape and style kit as y'all can see um, all right, I know my lights are gonna blind these, so you're probably not gonna see it, but this is what it looks like. It has a little bit of glitter in there, so pretty. And then I got this style as well because this one is super popular. Like, everybody is wearing this one as of lately, so I grabbed this one. And I also got some spring colors as well. Like, these next three, you guys, they're so cute. I cannot, all right, so this one is the mint green option. Ooh, this one is so pretty. And I wanted to wear this in March, actually, but I didn't see this till the end of March. So I'm really upset, but I'm still gonna wear it sometime this summer. And then I also got a yellow, okay? You cannot go wrong with yellow. Like, look at that. So pretty. And it's not like a super deep yellow. It's like a pastel yellow. Love this color. And then I also got a lilac version because i mean come on now you cannot say spring without some purple okay so that's that one and i have two more like i bought so many nails you guys like there's a lot of favorites out there this one actually is from impress press on manicure but i love the blue f like flower shapes as y'all can see on the very bottom hopefully it's showing it but these are all white and then the bottom ones have flowers on it so i cannot wait to try this one out and then the last one i got is also from kiss and this is their voguish fantasy nail set and this is so different like it has multi colors in here and i feel like all together it will look so nice on the nails so those are all the nail kits that i picked up you guys i know it seems a little bit extensive but i just love having these in my stash whenever i'm ready to switch out my nails so that's all i got from walmart i think yeah that's all i got from walmart and i have one more thing to show you guys so this last item is from tj maxx and when i saw it i just had to pick it up because i've always wanted an impressionist vanity mirror and with this one it was at tj maxx for about let's see 34 dollars you guys remember back in the day this used to be so much money so the fact that i saw it for 34 dollars i just went ahead and grabbed this one and this one is a little bit smaller it is there if i can find the size in for you guys they're 12 by 14 inch mirror and i really wanted the big one but the big ones only had black rose gold and just gold but i wanted a white mirror and so i had to pick this one up even though it is a little bit smaller but it is led light so i don't have to switch out the bulbs or anything like that but yeah i'm really excited for this one i will set it up sometime today and try it out but if you're looking for this type of mirrors y'all go to tj maxx and marshall's because they always have the good stuff but that was everything i want to share with you guys i also went shopping and got some clothes some handbags some shoes and all of that but i don't know if you guys really want to see that if you do let me know i may film another video but these are all the makeup beauty type products and you know all of that and i do hope you guys enjoyed this video but let me know your thoughts down below i love you guys so much make sure you go ahead and like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one